Hello and welcome to the Pizza Kitchen. I'm your host, Brian Hernandez. And today we're gonna to show you guys how to make a New Haven style pizza in your homes or your restaurants. Now I'm not super familiar with the style, so I was able to get a guest to come down here and show us all what it's all about. So I would like to welcome Ms. Gail Chernitz of Gail's Pizza Parties from Germantown, Tennessee. Welcome and thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you for having me here, Brian. Absolutely. So it's great to now, be here. Now, yeah, Gail is down south here in Tennessee, but she hails from the northeast mm -hmm. up in New Haven County, Connecticut. So, Gail, what are some of the characteristics that people should look for when looking for a New Haven style pizza? What makes it a New Haven style pizza? Great question. Uh, I'm going to say one of the biggest factors is that the outer crust is not as pillowy as a Neapolitan sty uh, style pizza. Okay. It's a lot thinner, but it still is airy and bubbly. Okay. And it's also not uh, tossed in the air. It's, it's hand stretched. Mm -hmm. And um, But most importantly, and it's one thing you can assimilate, is it's baked in a coal burning oven, which okay. has been out, outnumbered for years. Right, yeah, but they, that, we can't the, get them You can't anymore. get them, but the, the coal is what gives the absolutely wonderful flavor around the edges and the bottom of the pie and it kind of is like a black dust of coal but it adds but some it adds flavor so the char. much flavor yes well yes. since unfortunately since we can't get coal ovens anymore we're going to show you how best to approximate a new haven style pizza in pretty much your home or your restaurant so let's get started uh so what pie are you gonna make for us right now pie you mean it's a nabitz you should know that brian it's called a nabitz all right, so what beats are we gonna make it right now? Awesome, we're gonna okay. do a white clam pie uh, inspired by Frank Pepe. No one really has his recipe, but we can only go by less is best and what the ingredients are in that pie. So that's what we're gonna do today. And they, they're like one of the originals. They, didn't yeah. they like kind of, uh, uh, aren't they the grandfather of New that's Haven style That's where it originated, pizza? yes. All right, so we're giving yep. you the best first, but less is more, and it's beats. All right, so for this pie, we're gonna need a 12 ounce dough ball, cornmeal for dusting the peel, little neck clams steamed open and removed from the shell, shredded mozzarella cheese, grated pecorino romano cheese, minced garlic, extra virgin olive oil, and dried oregano. First step is we're gonna add our extra virgin olive oil, and that's okay. actually gonna be the sauce, is the oil. Okay, so that's so all over the whole base. It's all over the whole base. Okay, very nice. Yeah. So in a clam pie, there's no other Sauce, just this, nope, but there's nothing just, else, just olive oil, right? Nothing else. We got our sauce, we got our shredded mozz. We're using some uh, shredded whole milk mozzarella from Galvani. Galvani, yeah. the best. Oregano, scrunching it as we go across. Absolutely. The pie. And then some garlic. Some minced garlic, freshly minced garlic. Freshly minced garlic. Garlic. No, and I see you got a big, a pretty wide um, cornichona crust around here. It's gonna and spread then, on out. All right, so the cheese is gonna melt and spread out. All right, and then another little, little bit of oil, bit of oil huh? Oil. I'm gonna put it in the oven, cook it for about eight minutes. All right, what temperature are we putting it in the oven at? 500. 500 for about eight minutes, and Correct. then uh, we'll put on the rest of our ingredients yep. after. We're gonna bake this for eight minutes, and then we're gonna add our clams just to heat them up. Oh, just to heat them up. So yep. okay, we'll bake it almost to completion. Correct. And then add a couple items just to get them warm. All right, so we've been about eight minutes in, right? Yes. Oh, look at that, just cheese. You can smell that garlic coming out. The crust has gotten kind of poofy, but not like super thick all around. As you said, you know, it is flatter than like a Neapolitan style. So yeah. what now? All right, now we add the clams, the shucked clams. All right, so these, we've already shucked them. We steamed them open. Uh, what did we put in that pot? We had some onions. We some... had some onions, some garlic, and I use white wine instead of water. It gives it another layer of flavor. Okay. And uh, then when I shuck the clams, I toss them with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil to keep that really pretty shiny appearance. Okay. And then we're just gonna put a couple of these little guys on the top. Don't eat the shells. You'd be Don't surprised eat the how many shells. times you have to tell people that it's on a pizza they think they can put it in their mouth. Just don't eat the shells. All right, so now some we've got some shells for our Pecorino Romano. Pecorino Romano, now Parmesan. All right, so now we're going to throw that guy back in there just for, for a couple another, minutes. A couple minutes, just kind of heat up the, the clams that, are already, that we've already kind of boiled and already cooked. Steamed, so. correct. Steamed. All right. All right, wow, that looks good. 
Oh wow, and you can look at the crust, you got the light area. It's not quite charred like a coal oven, but again, you cannot get that anymore. So we did our best approximation of it. Just the aromas are great. Yeah. All right, so now we are ready to cut this pie up and give it a taste. Uh, again, as I said, I'm not a big seafood fan. I am gonna try it, but I wanted to get a great seafood aficionado from our office. So I went and grabbed Mr. Tom Boyles, sales executive at PMQ. So Gail, why don't you cut it up? before he starts, you know, gnawing off a, a digit or something. Do the fold, you push your thumb in it, bam. There, wow. that's how you eat nabits. Nabits. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> have to take those noises out. I don't no. Know. <laughs> well guys, that's all the time we have in the Pizza Kitchen today. I'd like to thank our guest, Gail Chernes, for showing us how to make a great uh, New Haven style pizza. I'd like to thank our guest eater, Mr. Tommy Boyles from PMQ for tasting it and giving it that ringing endorsement it makes its own sauce. How much better can you get than that? Mm -hmm. And honestly, Gail, I'm not a big seafood fan, but I would eat this pie. Awesome. Um, all Good. the flavors mix well together and nothing's overpowering so it doesn't frighten you away. Nice, thank you. So Thanks, if you want to find out more about uh, New Haven style pizza, tune into the June, July issue of PMQ Pizza Magazine. You'll be able to see the Chef's Corner with Gail Chernitz in it, as well as our uh, New Haven uh, rundown of that pizza style. That's all the time we have in the kitchen today, guys. I'm your host, Brian Hernandez, but until then, keep those ovens lit.